Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a 10 piece haul for you today. I wish it was more, but I really haven't been sourcing money, much good stuff. So it's all over the place, men's, evening wear, one pocketbook. And so I'm just gonna show you what I picked up, but I am going to start with one piece that um, a friend gave me to sell. And this is this little genuine leather coach bag and just a small little crossbody coach bag. And so I'm hoping it probably retails for about 250, but um, it's not very popular style or color right now. So it will probably sell between 35 and $55. Inside there is no Creed because they did not put Creeds on these bags, but it, it has the satin, um, satin finish. Usually the sign of a fake coach bag, I mean, there's many signs, but one of them is if you open it and it's um, not satin and it has it has um, coach written in there or C's or something because coach doesn't do that. What they usually do is if the outside is solid, then it will be solid satin inside. So that was the first thing. Sorry, I took so long with that. Just a little tiny orange bag, cute. All right, the next is a full length Romans 18 wide trumpet style evening gown, mother of the bride, cruise. This would be amazing as a mother and the mother of bride or wedding. And it's a true silver. It has hundreds and thousands of beads. It is new with tags. And this is what the label looks like. I, d I usually only pick up Romans if it's new with tags. It is a catalog. That's where you buy it and through the catalog. And a little hack I can give you is there was some missing beads. Let me see if I could find them. There were some missing beads and you never wanna pull the string because all, all the beads will come off. So if you come across a dress that, you, that looks, it's new with tags, it will sell, or even with your own, what you do is you take, I'm gonna show you right here, right there. You take the piece of thread, tie it in a knot, push it as close to the bead as possible, and very carefully, very, very carefully, you put one drop, even a half a drop, one tiny little drop of super glue on that bead and make sure the string is there and that will keep it from unraveling like forever. So the super glue is a multitude of things, soles for shoes, you know, rips, but with bead, with a beaded dress, if you do it just very carefully, there'll be no sign that you, of the super glue. You're not gonna be walking around with super glue. It's already dried. So that is what I did to fix this dress. And of course, I'll mention that in the listing. So we have that. Okay, so now we have two men's jackets. This is an In Search. And I always pick up In Search. It does have a cult following. It's black and kind of a florally brocade type look. And it is a men's blazer and it's a size 44 regular. And I will show you, show you the sign, the, there we go, right there. So it is 100% polyester, 44R means 44 regular. And then the in search tag you wanna look for is this. Their blazers sell very well. I've never tried their um, pants, but I have tried also the linen. The linen sells exceptionally well. And so I think, men really like this brand it's very summer and kind of uh, beachy um their linen wear but anyways i hope to get probably about 50 or 60. okay now is a new to me brand it's called forefathers y2k 90s for 90s into y2k and it is a really really cool floral print uh, metallic red silver gold and blue 2x jacket with a hood it probably weighs a good three, four pounds, very heavy, even though it's not insulated, it has a little crown. And when I look at it, I feel like it's like juicy couture for men. Very, very groovy looking, look at that. And it's solid black inside, it has two hip pockets, it also has a pocket inside for the wallet. It has the crown emblem on the side, and it is a just a really, really cool printed floral men's jacket. Or I guess it could be unisex. Okay, moving right along, we have a new with tags, another Mother of the Bride dress, and it's Alex Evenings, and I do love to pick up this brand. I pick it up whether it is new with tags or not. It sells good, and it is from Dillard's, and the price tag says somebody paid $2.39 for it. 
And it is a just nice periwinkle sheath dress. Probably falls, well, it falls about three or four inches below the knee. I'm five, seven and a half. So that is that. It zips up, plus size 24 wide, and it's just a pull over the head style. It is one piece. Looks like two, but it is one piece. Okay. And this, um, I think I might have showed this in another haul. It's still out here because I just photographed it. And it's a pageant dress, Giovanni pageant dress. It's just beautiful. It could also be used for a prom dress. Full length, it actually has a train as well. And you could wear it a couple different ways. Crisscross, uh, regular, or you could wear it strapless. All right, sorry if that's a repeat because I might have already showed you that. Next, I have a 3X J Crew navy and white striped 24 inch crop top with a bow, uh, boat. This is a boat neck, boat neck um, collar. And I originally bought this for myself. It's just a little bit too big, a little bit too oversized. Otherwise, I'd keep it. So I plan to sell it and with that money, buy myself one in a smaller size. Really cool. Perfect for this time of year. 100% cotton J Crew. All right. Next, I have a St. John Sport, not to be confused with St. John Bay, which is just a mall brand that doesn't really sell. This is St. John, and they use a Sunita type of fabric. It's very expensive. It probably, it probably cost four, maybe even $500 on their website. If you've never been to the St. John website, definitely look into it. It's a lot of style inspo. And this is for just kind of an old money vibe and mature yet stylish um, with the zebra print and the polka dot and this fabric is absolutely amazing it travels well it holds up well washes wears well it is gorgeous and it is a size xl and i would say that's kind of oversized looks like it has about a 48 inch bust and let's see two more things savage fenty and this is a onesie jumpsuit and it has metallic in it so you could either wear it just as loungewear workout or just running your errands throw a little bomber jacket on top it would be really really cool in the fall with your uggs and it's just a pull on and go hoodie zips up and it is there it is savage fenty and i believe that is rihanna's brand correct me if i am wrong here it is and that is a size large all right lastly i have a little free people which I don't always pick up. It is kind of bread and butter now, unless it's a blogger favorite. This is a free people, extra small, square neckline, half ribbed, long sleeve fall, um, fitted, fitted shirt. And that would be great for this fall or if you live in a cooler climate with some low rise jeans and boots, super cute. And it's like a rusty, rusty color. And it looks like it retailed for 58 and then it went on sale for 28. And that is what, um, if you are sourcing, you look for that little metal, that little metal piece that says free people. So there you have it. Those are my 10 pieces that I plan to get listed later today. Comment and subscribe, please, and share my videos. I'd really appreciate it. If you are a reseller, say hello and tell me where you're from. I know there are a lot of resellers here in North Carolina where I am, but there's even more like in Texas and out west. So thank you for stumbling across my neck of the woods and thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.